So basically I've framed in the master bed. What's the plan? We don't have a plan. Walking across the log. Don't fall. Oh no, oh no, oh no. What am I gonna do? Hey friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, and Kenya, Milo, and Charlie. We live to love an adventure. This is our story of leaving the norm behind to travel the United States full time, spreading love and encouraging others to do the same. Our family motto is love always, adventure often. So hit subscribe and join us for this incredible journey. So today is just supply day, I think. I, uh, I ran out of metal studs. So I'm back at the building supply store to buy more metal studs and tracks so we can finish framing up all the walls. Well, now I know I can fit 10 foot studs in the car. This is a Acura MDX and it fits 10 foot studs right down the middle with the back door closed. Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, so I'm got my, got my supplies, got more framing supplies. So back at it with framing. I've started the framing. I haven't shown you any of the framing yet. So I'm going to turn you around and kind of show you what I'm doing here with the studs. I'm pretty stoked to have walls going up. That's, that's awesome. Um, so I'm going to keep, keep going here, but I wanted to show you just a couple of things, uh, that, uh, we kind of found out in the process and uh, are working pretty well for us. So I'm gonna turn you around. There's Charlie, dog. What's up, Charlie? Here's the walls I've got so far. So basically I've framed in the master bed. Um, so I've got these two walls here uh, with this doorway. The nice thing is, is this access is right outside the master bed. We're gonna leave it as a roof access to get to the top deck that we're gonna put up on top. So I'm, still, I'm really stoked about that. A little sunset watching deck, sleeping under the stars if the kids want to, and we have access from the bus right there through our emergency access. That's awesome, I think. So um, here's our walls. Obviously the curved ceiling um, presents a little bit of a, of a difficulty, but with these metal studs and track, it's super easy. So all I did is just notch out the track in, a, in you know, every, where it's really curved every inch or so, and then it got a little bit bigger, four or five inch inches, and it just follows the contour of the bus uh, ceiling. And then we just use the, the roof supports and joists here to screw to. And I kind of planned out to have our walls where the joists uh, of the, the bus frame are. Um, so that's cool. So down here, it's a half wall because we're gonna have access for storage under the bed from both the back and the front. So you can see, obviously there's the back door and the garage area back there, and we'll be able to access under the bed from this little opening here. Haven't framed this wall yet. Um, we're still trying to decide if we're gonna leave this open to the garage or if we're gonna close it off completely. So, um, and then this wall separates the master bed from the teeny tiny little toilet room. And this wall separates the master bed from the shower room. Um, both of which toilet and tub shower are being installed over the wheel wells. So <laughs> I've read mixed reviews on that. I've read different experiences. We're gonna try it out. Toilet shouldn't be any issue. There's no plumbing needed. so. Uh, it's just gonna be a compost toilet. And then the shower tub is like a 10 inch deep tub. We're gonna put it there on top of the wheel well. And you'll be bending over or sitting in the shower, but no big deal to us. Anyway, I'm gonna get to work. It's 55 degrees, which is really unusual for January. So, we're taking a we're taking a rest from bus building and working and we're going for a hike. 54 it says. 54. Woo. It doesn't feel like 54. Getting up into the mountains, going for a little hike, taking Charlie for a walk. Charlie!
Oh, walking across the log. Don't fall. What's the plan? We don't have a plan. We don't need a plan. Everybody we talk to wants to know when we're leaving, how long we're going to be gone, where we're going. And for us, this whole process is kind of just about like letting go of the plan. And, and just expectations. And expectations. We really have no expectation for this. We're, we're also not pretending like we know that we're going to love being on the road or living in a bus. We're just trying to find out. It became an idea. I and feel now. Like we are loosely committing to the summer months. Oh, for sure. Well, we got to do it long enough to get into the groove. Well, yeah. So I'd say we have at least a three month plan. Maybe four months. But at least three months. <laughs> Maybe 24 months. Yeah. So, what's the plan? We don't know what the plan is. The plan is today we're building a bus. Well, today we're hiking. Well, today we're hiking. Tomorrow we're building a bus, and the next day we're building a bus, probably. Probably for another 160 days. We don't know that for sure. So, we'll see. It'll be an adventure. Hey, what's up everybody? I know you can't see me very well. Let me see if I can get some light on my face. Um, we got a big snowstorm last night, and uh, Whenever there's snow like this, I want to get out and get some photos, get into the mountains, get some photos. So it's about six o'clock in the morning and I'm going to do some sunrise stuff and, and snow photos. And I'm going to take you along with me. So when I go out for these photo trips, I usually take the essentials. I'll show you what my essentials are. Basically, my Canon Mark III with a 24 to 70 millimeter on it, just so I can be ready for anything if I need to zoom a little bit or have a little bit more wide sometimes it's not wide enough I get that I make do with it obviously my phone which I'm filming on and then I'm not gonna take it out but my drone um, the Mavic the DJ Mavic and then my gorilla pod so I can set up shots and and wrap it around trees or whatever so those are my essentials for shooting I pretty much have them with me all the time especially when I know I'm going out specifically to do photos so let's go put them to use all right so I got to the trailhead where I'm going to take some photos now I got about a 20 minute hike to get there uh, to where I think I'm gonna get some cool winter photos but what a beautiful morning it's so awesome to be up here just alone and with the fresh fallen snow, it just looks gorgeous. I finished shooting, got some great stuff, I think. I mean, I've, I feel like I never really know what I got until I get back, sit down and take a look at everything. Everything's so cold out here and it gets so, your screens get wet and stuff, you just can't really tell. So kind of just shoot away following instinct and then get back and take a look at what you got and see what you can make out of it. It's pretty pretty fun. It's really surprising actually sometimes to get back and see what you got. But anyway, got some drone stuff, got some stuff with my Mark III, Canon Mark III, and then I got some with my phone and uh, heading back now and it's time to take the kids sledding. We're going to go sleigh, we're going to take a break from bus building, and uh, I'll get back to it a little later this afternoon, but right now, snow is calling. I'm in the car at the same time as everybody. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> I have to go yeah. back out to do the errand I asked you to do. <laughs> That's not true. That's why everything takes forever. Where are we going? The bowl. The bowl to what? Sled. Woo! with a light toast snack before we go. Picked up some extra children. We made it to the sledding hill. Katie's bundled up like it's 50 below zero. I need an igloo. And I gotta pee. So bad. There's nowhere to pee. Oh no, oh no, oh no. What am I gonna do? There's something about getting out into the snow that makes me need to pee instantly. I drank a huge coffee, and we're gonna be here for hours, I'm sure. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do. That was it, buddy. I got, I got the green. I be always calling you. There goes mommy. Milo! <laughs> Backwards! <laughs> it was so fast! It was fast?